What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ecoli Espresso and welcome back to another video here today on my channel. Today what we got for you guys is some advanced warfare news and information and a showcase actually. Our first one here in advanced warfare in terms of microtransaction DLC. Today, December 16th, a brand new batch of microtransaction DLC camos for both weapons and exosuits dropped here on the Xbox platforms. Xbox One and 360 now have it available to them. PlayStation consoles and PC, I'm assuming we'll We'll get it again in the next month here about a month after when it drops is usually when it happens so today without further ado i guess we can just get right into the showcase the first one that we're going to cover here today which is my personal favorite the nanotech camo you're going to get a weapon camo three reticles and a calling card as you do with all these others here but the cool thing about this one to start is it's animated all of the camos that you're going to be seeing here today are in fact animated nothing too insane or over the top but it is absolutely awesome how they turn out now one of the things that i really like about this weapon is that it's not really susceptible to the lighting and textures of the next generation consoles xbox one is the only platform that these are available on at the moment but when they come to playstation 4 and pc everybody will be able to tell what i'm talking about with this but sometimes the textures and lighting can diminish the effect of the actual camo this one it doesn't really seem to lose anything you can still see the camo pattern as well as the animation in light and in a darker space so i do really enjoy that overall the reticles aren't too bad some of the dlc camos that we'll get will have some horrid reticles but these three that came with it aren't too bad they're not personally my favorite but they do their job pretty well now overall i'd say that this camo works well on pretty much all of the guns the only one that you'll see here in the footage in the background is the asm one it doesn't really seem like it covers the entire entire texture of the gun but I did have a variant on top of it so it's kind of trying to mesh the two like the game code would do next up we're gonna take a look at magma this one is my second favorite here in the DLC that we got today again you're gonna be getting a calling card three reticles and a weapon camo with this one this one seems a little bit more chunkier on the gun it's a little bit thicker of a camo but I do like it this one again is animated it takes me back to some of the stuff that we saw almost mirroring some of the textures that we got in black ops 2 as you guys know there was a map called magma which it reminds me heavily of for obvious reasons now the reticles that come along with the magma camo aren't exactly the best the only one that i can see as a viable option would be the magma reticle it's got almost a red dot pinpointed inside of a fire logo but hot and liquid they're not actually the best choices they take away from the actual center point that you're shooting at and kind of distract you a little bit i guess liquid could be a little bit of an option if you're in close quarters but for long range engagements it's definitely not the way to go now overall how it looks on the weapon you can see from the gameplay in the background it looks good on all of the weapons showcased here contrary to nanotech the asm1 actually holds it very well it doesn't have almost a transparent aspect to it it looks really nice on all the weapons. I really was surprised by this one. This is one of the ones where I said that, okay, it kind of looks cool on an image, but does it transfer over well? Well, that one actually does. Moving along, the next camo we're going to be talking about here is Creature. This one takes me back all the way to Black Ops 2 and the 115 camo. It's only slightly animated, so it doesn't take away too much from whatever you're focusing on, but it does look really cool. It looks a little bit better whenever you're in a shaded area. Like I was talking about with the Nanotech camo, it can be a little bit of affected by the shading and textures and lighting all that kind of stuff this one is one of those ones where it does look a little bit better in the dark but it still looks pretty cool overall now the reticles that you're gonna be getting for this I'd say two of the three are usable they're not my favorites obviously I'm just personally not a person that really likes DLC reticles but the beast is the only one that I would say you really wouldn't be able to use you wouldn't be able to pinpoint where you're actually shooting at because there is no red dot indicator at all the brute and the blister do have indications on it where you're actually shooting with designs built around it again this one is one that translates well on pretty much all the weapons that i've seen so far there's no transparency on the asm1 or any other weapon for that matter it looks pretty good all around now our final camo that we got today is the lightning camo it's a thinner of a camo compared to the other ones in terms of how thick it looks it feels like it's just like a film over top of the actual weapon but it does look cool nonetheless you got a lightning effect going down animated as well throughout your gun and any gun that you choose to use now the reticles overall i would go maybe one and a half are usable that doesn't really seem practical but electron is the only one that has a pinpointed area where you can actually see where you're shooting at bolt it's nothing i would ever really consider using 
bulb you have a little bit of a design built around a center point but nothing too major now like I said this camo looks really good on the actual weapons the ASM one you'll see it is looking like it's a little bit lighter and it seems like of the guns that I've showcased here the ASM one has been one that you can see pretty much both halves of how they're going to translate onto guns but that has been our camo showcase here for you guys I hope you guys did enjoy this hopefully maybe I swung your opinions one way either to a yes or a no and helped you decide if you wanted to buy them personally I was absolutely blown away with these camos I loved every single one of them so hopefully you guys got a better idea of what you think of them now by this showcase but that's been my time ladies and gentlemen thank you guys so much for watching if you did like the video be sure to leave a like rating down below any shares your Facebook Twitter and or MySpace if you're OG like that always greatly appreciated if you're new here be sure to subscribe for the best of Call of Duty Advanced Warfare content any new news and information you guys know exactly to find out right here on my channel thank you guys once again so much for watching my name is Benny Cola Espresso as always we're getting a great day I shall see you guys tomorrow. Take care and peace.